Welcome to Ag Shorts. I'm Kalen. With me is my father, Brandon. Today, we're going to talk about castration techniques for horses and cows. We have gotten some hate a little bit on some of our recent videos of a horse castration video we released in 2021. Um, Spark Notes version, yes, they are sedated. They don't feel a thing. They feel it only during the recu recuperation process, the recovery process. Cattle, we banned, so they don't really feel it. They do have a tummy ache. But with that, I'll give it to dad. Previous techniques compared to today. I think, I, did I hear you say it's no big deal? Yeah, it's no big deal. It's no big deal to, to the ones with a couple X chromosomes, but to us, it's like major <laughs> brain surgery. So <laughs> be careful your perspective here. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've changed the way we do it because of low stress on the cattle. Uh, band these calves right after birth within, sometimes it's once, you know, they've been up and had their first nursing and I'll do it then, you know, whatever's convenient. But, uh, you know, a lot of times you'll catch them a day or two out there and the banding takes place. It's relatively painless. Like you said, a bellyache, but it beats the way I'm filling up with some coffee here. Thanks, honey. The boss has just brought me. Oh yeah. Now I can go. Anyway, uh, you know, we, we used to cut with a, and literally with a, a really sharp knife keep it sharp or a, a, a scalpel use disposable blades i've used a pocket knife more than anything with a castrating blade but um cut the bottom of the scrotum pull the testicles out trim them back um before you do any of that though i mean your your knife is in some disinfectant water we usually use lysol most everybody uses lysol water um fairly strong and, and wash the whole area so that you're going to minimize any kind of infection and uh Cut the bottom of the scrotum off so it can, just the very tip so that it can uh, uh, get the testicles to emerge, pull them out, and it'll it'll heal, but it'll also drain. Some people will throw in a, uh, a vertical uh, cut between the testicles and split the scrotum. And never like doing that. It seems to not drain as well. It'll heal. You know, you've got all of, all of the skin there. It can just heal back together where the bottom of the scrotum when you cut it off, it has to kind of heal together because you've, you've taken some tissue away. So it seems to do much better when the healing process and draining, uh, they're not as stiff, uh, don't cause problems with, not as much problems with maggots. The flies will get to blow on them if that, if that uh, you know, keeps opening up and has more of a, an open wound that won't heal where the, the bottom of the scrotum seems to heal better, my opinion, just mine. But uh, other guys do it that way because they think it's better too. But I've seen a lot of issues there at times and it's always somebody who who has some expertise to do that a lot of people still still uh castrate that way it's okay the, the benefit is you get some rocky mountain oysters which are phenomenal it's tough mm -hmm. that's a delicacy one of the best things you can have you know and it's uh it's nice you can throw them up on a branding pot at that time while you're branding when they pop they go down the go in the mouth and you can rise roll back in your head and savor that but uh banding you don't have that anymore they uh, take a little bit of time to cut the circulation off the blood flow to the testicles and it they essentially just uh, fall off over over time so uh, less stress overall way less stress and uh, you can do it a little bit younger because of it so to us it's just a lot a lot better way to do it you know the horses uh, we always sedate the horses anymore there was a time we didn't do that um, we didn't have really the uh <laughs> the care from some of the older guys that were around is like, yeah, we'll just go ahead and pull this horse down and, and uh, hold his legs. And it would, it would be a three, four man job with some ropes. One minute. And uh, we had a special tool that we've already got. I think I've shown that on film mm -hmm. um, yep. with the Oak staves. You I've used that. We've also done it where uh, you cut the cream master muscle. That's the muscle that will pull a testicle up into your body cavity. And then trim just slowly trim the uh testicle away with a thumbnail and that's i've, I've done that i did it once because the old guy said ah, that's a really good way to do it i didn't like doing that uh yeah, did not like good. it so never did it again um it worked out fine everything was okay but still i wasn't happy with that so yeah that's there's lots of different techniques um uh, for us it's what we can do with the lowest stress like you said at the beginning it's always better for the animal. So always. with that, castration techniques for horses and cows on the hash knife.